Your guardian angels have a message just for you, and it could change things for the better. There's someone in your life who you met on a rough day, and they have a secret to share. The day you met them wasn't a good one, not because of them, but because you weren't feeling your best. They noticed, but that day stuck out in their memory for a different reason. They've been holding on to this secret, waiting for the right time to tell you. Will this secret affect your future interactions? Of course, this secret holds the power to influence how you and this person communicate and understand each other in the future. Imagine it like a key that can unlock new conversations and actions between you. Imagine if you found out something surprising about a friend or someone close to you. It might change the way you see them, right? Well, that's what might happen here. This secret is like a piece of a puzzle that, once revealed, could make everything clearer. Think of it as a door that, once opened, leads to a deeper connection between you and this person. It's like discovering a new path in the woods that you've never explored before. This secret could spark new conversations between you and this person. Maybe you'll learn something about them that you never knew before. It might even bring you closer together as friends or help you understand each other better. So yes, this secret could definitely affect your future interactions. But don't worry, it's all part of growing and learning more about each other. First impressions can be tricky for everyone. Many people judge themselves too harshly based on how they think others see them. But this person's memory of meeting you isn't negative. It's actually quite positive. After they met you, something huge happened in their life. It felt like fate had a hand in bringing you together. Even though it was a tough time for both of you, meeting you was like a spark that changed everything. They started to see things differently, like meeting you was meant to be. Imagine you're walking in the park and you find a shiny rock. That rock makes you feel really happy and lucky, like it's a sign of good things to come. That's how they felt after meeting you. You were their special shiny rock. Because of meeting you, they started doing things they always wanted to do, like painting, singing, and playing sports. They felt inspired and excited about life. It was like they found a new path full of happiness and adventure. That's why they hold on to that memory so tightly. It's like a treasure chest of good feelings and new beginnings. They want to share that treasure with you because meeting you meant so much to them. This person often seems a bit different to others. They worry that if they tell you, you might think they're strange. But they admire you and believe they can trust you. Your guardian angels want you to understand why this person hasn't shared their secret with you before. They might have been afraid of how you'd react, felt embarrassed, or simply weren't ready to tell you until now. Imagine holding on to a secret so big that you're scared to let it out. You might worry about how the other person will feel, or feel a little embarrassed about what you have to say. It's like carrying a heavy backpack full of secrets all the time. This person might have thought about telling you before, but the timing didn't feel right. They waited for the perfect moment when they felt more comfortable or sure you'd understand. It's like when you're about to jump into a pool, but you hesitate because the water looks too cold. You wait until you feel brave enough to take the plunge. Now that they're getting ready to share their secret, it means they're feeling more confident and ready to open up. Your guardian angels want you to be patient and understanding as they take this big step. Your guardian angels have an important message for you about the secret someone you know is holding. This secret could be a big turning point in your relationship. Sometimes people keep secrets for a long time, unsure of when or how to share them. Your friend might be feeling nervous or scared about telling you, which is why they've waited until now. It's natural to wonder whether the secret is good or bad. Well, it could be either. Maybe it's something really good that happened like a special moment or realization, or it could be something they've struggled with, like a tough decision or a personal challenge. Whatever it is, this secret might affect your relationship with them. It could bring you closer or change how you see each other. But remember, your friend is trusting you with something important. It's essential to be understanding and supportive when they share it. Your guardian angels want you to be kind and understanding when your friend finally tells you their secret. It's a big deal for them, and they need to feel accepted by you. Remember, everyone deserves compassion and understanding. 
Think back to the day you met and how you felt. Was there something special about that day? Maybe you felt a connection, like something important was happening. It's like a puzzle piece fitting perfectly into place. Your angels are guiding you to be open-minded and supportive. This moment could deepen your bond with your friend and bring more happiness into both your lives. It's like taking a step towards a brighter future filled with friendship and understanding. Now it's time for a secret from your angels. When you answer a relationship challenge, prepare for the consequences. You symbolize as a warrior getting ready to defend a matter of principle. You are either feeling challenged or feeling a need to put your foot down. In effect, you are strapping on your armor and sharpening your blade. Whoever tangles with you now faces a daunting opponent, because a righteous indignation empowers the character of this card. Hopefully your cause is worth what lies ahead. Sometimes this prince becomes so eager for the fight that he forgets what it will cost his or her partner, as well as how many other lives may be affected. Before you commit yourself to further action and reaction, be sure you are ready for all the consequences to your potential relationship that you could stimulate by taking a strong position. There is one who can provide vision and leadership. Take heed and learn to conduct yourself with greater integrity. The King of Swords is in this position points to someone in your environment who exhibits wisdom and strong principles. Whether it is another person or some higher part of your own knowing, you and the person you would like to be involved with are being directed here to defer to a source of profound knowledge. This third entity could be a wise elder or counselor, one who is able to be clear and level-headed even in emotionally charged situations. Your angels impresses both of you enough that you are willing to trust his integrity, accept his direction, and embrace his wisdom. It may feel like a risk to entrust yourselves to a more cosmic point of view that you are not entirely familiar with. It is a risk you must take, however, because this king represents qualities you may need to develop in your forthcoming relationships. Seek out such a king and utilize new insights to reevaluate mutual goals. By looking at a potential relationship through the lens of the King of Swords, your relationship will establish a stronger foundation rooted in timeless wisdom. Changes need to be made steadily but gradually in a potential relationship. Temperance in this position challenges you to gradually phase in changes in a forthcoming relationship while letting go of old behaviors and thought forms. When we plant new varieties in a garden, we may also clean out some of the old. Over time, a new relationship dynamic may emerge. It's not all accomplished in a day. Healing is more of process than an event. Be patient and persevere. Blend the medicine with careful attention to detail. Focus your will and intention. Repeat the solution. Remember that too much is as bad as too little. Keep things in balance as you slowly and steadily change the composition of your energy from the old to the new. This secret might make you look at the first time you met in a whole new light. Imagine someone tells you a surprise about your favorite book or movie. It's like that. You might see things differently or understand them better once you know the secret. It's like adding a secret ingredient to a recipe. It changes the taste of the whole dish. For example, imagine you met someone at a party. They seem nice but nothing special. Later, you find out they were secretly helping organize a surprise for your friend. Suddenly, they seem really cool. That's what this secret could do. It might make you see that first meeting in an exciting new way. Sometimes the universe sends special people our way for a reason. It's like the universe is giving us a little nudge toward something good. Look around for signs that might show you why this person is important in your life. Maybe it's a feeling you get when you're with them or something good happening after you met them. When this person finally tells you their secret, be ready to listen with an open heart. It's like opening a door to something new and exciting. Your angels have been watching over you, guiding you to this moment. They want you to know that this moment could change your life for the better. It's like stepping into a new chapter of your story. Now a message from Father. You in the earth who told you that no one is perfect. Was that a thought from me? Was it a God-breathed inspiration? No, it was not. When I said in my word, be perfect as your Father in heaven is perfect, 
I released all the grace and power you need to see it done in your life. It is not up to you in your own efforts or ability. I am the Father inside you, doing the work to bring you forth in my image, with my character and my perfection intact as your personal testimony. When the enemy of your soul tears you down and demeans your prospects, hold my word up as the shield for your faith. When life, circumstance, or other people trash your dreams and visions, make up your mind then and there that you will believe the good report. All things are possible. I am the God living inside you, for whom nothing is impossible. That is who I am, therefore in me, that is who you are. You are the earthly reflection of my heavenly image. You are the image bearer of the invisibility of my glory. Yield to that glory. Embrace that glory. Wrap your faith around that glory and see my perfection become your manifest portion in life. So walk in my perfection and express my perfection even in the midst of your blatant and obvious imperfections. Know who you are. Receive my love. Abide in me daily. Walk in faith and embrace the risks by which mountains are moved and destiny realized. Obey me in all things even when you don't understand, or for that matter, agree. Be transparent and honest, for as it has been said, I am more interested in relationship than I am in respect. When you walk in my perfection, you will experience a life of joy, peace, and fulfillment. You will be a blessing to others and make a difference in the world. So today, my beloved child, choose to walk in my perfection. It is your destiny. The Father says today, my spirit is moving in your situation to shed light on the deceptions that the enemy has sought to weave into your life. I am bringing forth in glaring illumination the secrets that have been hidden in darkness and ensuring that they are proclaimed loudly, resonating from the very depths of your being. The enemy's strategy is to entangle you in disappointment and overwhelm you with frustration. However, I implore you to redirect your focus away from people and circumstances, fixing your gaze firmly upon me, your loving Father. It is inevitable that people will let you down, and situations may bring forth frustration. But I urge you not to place your trust solely in human strength. Instead, trust in the word that I have planted deep within your heart. My love for you is unwavering. I will never forsake you or disregard your pleas for help. My beloved child, do you truly trust me? If you do, then allow me to step in and take control of every aspect of your life. I will guide you from where you currently are to a place of victory and abundant blessings. The promises I have made in your life are the very catalyst for the breakthrough you yearn for. In this journey, it is crucial that you do not invest your energy or initiative into anything or anyone that contradicts the promises I have spoken over your life. The enemy seeks to isolate you, to cut you off from the vital resources that will lead you on the path to breakthrough. Therefore, I encourage you, dear one, to test the spirits around you. True discernment is not fueled by suspicion or doubt, masked as religious behavior. Rather, it is rooted in love, which casts out all fear. It is a perfect love that is unconditional and brings rest to your weary soul. Enter into the rest that I have lovingly prepared for you. As part of this process, it is important to forgive those whom you hold anger against. Release those you have unjustly judged in your thoughts. Remember, dear one, that all humanity is prone to evil and wickedness can manifest in every action. However, I offer you cleansing and redemption at the foot of the cross. There, I will set you free and bring you to a place of renewed and vibrant purification. Let go of the need to be right and release the demand for justice that does not align with the principles of my kingdom. Surrender these burdens to me and I will bear them for you. I am here for you, ready to expose the deceptions of the enemy and lead you into a life of victory and blessings. Trust in me, lean on me and allow me to guide you through every step of your journey. Embrace the rest and freedom that come from forgiving others and surrendering your burdens at the cross. Together, we will overcome the enemy's schemes and walk in the fullness of the life I have prepared for you. The Father says today, I know your heart. 
and I understand the anxiety and fear you are feeling about the uncertainty of the future. Know that because you live in a fallen environment, the spirit of Leviathan swims through the waters of prideful fallen humanity all around you, and you will face challenges and obstacles that may seem insurmountable. However, I want to assure you that your tomorrows are in good hands. As the sovereign god of the universe, I fully control everything, including your life. Nothing taking place in your life is beyond my reach or my power to address, shift and bring deliverance. Trust me, cry out to me, let your mouth pray. Even though you may not be able to see it now, I have a good plan for your future. I am a god of abundance and life and want to give you the best. Encourage your heart, lift your head up, set your expectations high, dream big and believe that I can do anything. When your hopes are dashed and distractions surround you, turn to my word. It serves as a template for your life, providing guidance and wisdom. Meditate on my word and let it shape your expectations for the future. Remember, this is a time for action, not just waiting. I have already equipped you with everything you need to succeed. Now, it is up to you to take action and put my word into practice. Through your faith and belief in me, you will witness amazing results. I am no respecter of persons. What I have done for others, I can certainly do for you. There is no need to hesitate in believing that I can do great things in your life. Trust in my power and my love for you, and you will see remarkable transformations. So, as you face uncertainty or obstacles, remember that I am in control. Trust in my plan. Set your expectations high and take action guided by my word. Your future is bright, and with my guidance, you will overcome any challenges that come your way. The Father says today, I am with you, I am in you. I am all around you, surrounding you with my favor, love, protection, and guidance in times of difficulty. I know that you are facing many challenges. Your life, family situation, and other aspects of life are full of turmoil and uncertainty. Never forget, or take your mind off the fact that I am with you. I am your God and will never leave or forsake you. In the midst of all the chaos and confusion, draw on my limitless strength and refuse to be entangled in the circumstance by leaning on your own understanding and resources. Do not give in to the temptation to be afraid or discouraged. Remember that I have already overcome the world. And because I live in you, you have also overcome the world. The enemy's primary goal is to distract you. He knows that if he can keep you distracted, he can keep you from walking in my will. But I want to assure you that I am here to guide you and protect you. When you feel lost or confused, come to me in prayer. I will show you the way. And when you feel weak and discouraged, I will give you strength. Surrender your weariness to me. Never grow frustrated or impatient with well-doing. Even when things are difficult, don't give up on walking in my simplicity. Those around you may try to tell you that you need to be complex and sophisticated in order to be spiritual. I want to assure you that the opposite is true. Simplicity is your portion. Simplicity is your deliverance. I'm a simple savior with all the answers you need to find yourself in the yoke, easy and the burden light I have set before you. Come as a little child. Let me hold you in my arms. Let me fill you with my love and my peace. And know that I am always with you, no matter what you are facing. The Father says today, make my presence your priority. As you make a determinate and conscious choice to seek the kingdom above every other consideration, I will generously bless your life with the desires of your heart. I have a magnificent plan for you, filled with joy and blessings that might seem like fiction. But it's not it, is the reality of living and breathing and having your life bounded by and surrounded by my glory, power and kingdom strength. I intend to bring you into a state of abundant fulfillment where your deepest desires and dreams become a reality daily. This is the essence of our relationship, my child. I am a loving and caring God who desires to shower you with goodness. Brush aside any religious misconceptions or doubts that may have hindered your belief in my promises. I am a good God 
and my goodness knows no bounds when it comes to you. Let go of your feeble plans and strategies, as they are futile attempts to comprehend how I will bring about the remarkable things I have in store for you. Instead, I urge you to find rest in me. Simply surrender to my care and protection. Let today be characterized by rejoicing and praise, for I assure you, I've got this. No longer should you settle for a mediocre existence. The Father says today timidity and fear are going in boldness, audacity, and faith unfeigned are calling you up into a place of perfect love, because love never fails, thus you will not fail. You see, perfect love casts out all fear, my beloved. Through the work of the cross, I have brought perfect love into every aspect of your life. It is through this perfect love that I am perfecting what you have committed to me. Relinquish any expectations in your heart that go against my promises. Trust me, for I am leading you towards the fulfillment of your highest heart's desires and dreams. I haven't said no, and I have not excluded you, nor have I denied you. Make it your now determination to free yourself from the chains of unfounded fear and deny its hold on your life. The past accomplishments I have brought forth in your life are merely the beginning of a season of great fruitfulness. Are you ready to experience a catch so abundant that the nets cannot contain? Are you ready for your words and actions to carry the same power as if I spoke and acted? You are standing on the threshold of a new entitlement, a new experience of the blessings that flow from the cross. These entitlements are manifesting themselves in your healing, your spiritual well-being, your relationships, and even in your finances. Embrace this season, step up boldly, and indulge in the richness of life. I have sent forth my blessings, my worthy portion, and they are meant for you to receive. Have faith, for by spending your faith, you are investing in the currency of the kingdom, a currency that surpasses anything earthly means can offer. Remember, I am with you always, and I will never leave you nor forsake you. This is a time of blessings, my child. Embrace it fully, for it belongs to you. Trust in me, for I am faithful to bring all that I have promised to pass in your life. The Father says today, from the place of renewed intimacy and experience of my glory, is coming to your life a beautiful transformation, like a spinning dance of growth and discovery. My word is coming to a place of amplification in your spirit, even as Adam and Eve experienced my following, when they heard my voice walking in the cool of the day. I am walking in the garden of your inner man, that you might find me, and seek me, and step into a new profound level of relationship that is yours to know and enjoy by my determinate will. There is a sound, a resonance of my sound and my voice, that will begin to permeate your life. In your study of the scriptures, you will come across the passage where they heard my voice walking in the cool of the day. Even so, I am walking by my word and my voice in the inner man of your spirit that I've created as my dwelling place. So dig deeper so you can understand this as the sound of my wind and my word whirling on the breezes of your inner man. I have instilled within you a spirit that resonates much like a tuning fork. At this pivotal point in your life, I choose to step closer to you and pluck the strings of your inner man so that my sound, my voice and my song will come forth, be known, and set many free with the freedom wherewith this day I make you free. As a result, you will hear my sound and, in turn, emit my sound, and the effects of miracles and answered prayer will be tangible. Just as certain sounds can shatter glass or evoke physical reactions, you will shed burdens that have clung to you, causing remarkable transformations in your presence. Prepare yourself, my beloved child, for when you enter a room, people will take notice. There may even be instances where someone, seemingly put together, but secretly struggling with a demonic stronghold, will undergo a physical reaction that draws attention from everyone around. Recognize this as an opportunity, for demons are like unruly children seeking attention. With a simple command from you, shut up and come out, you will demonstrate my divine power. My hand is ready to manifest in your life in a unique and powerful way. Do not be surprised if these extraordinary encounters occur outside of traditional church settings. 
They may arise as you go about your everyday activities, simply being yourself. An angel of change will accompany you, initiating transformations in those around you. And you will carry the radiance of my glory, where in the past was nothing but disappointment and failure. The Father says today, I am doing a complete work in your past, present and future. My spirit is actively working in your past, bringing liberty and healing to every broken area of your life, from the fractures and abuses of the past. You felt insecure and unsafe, even in your skin, and I've seen that, says God. I understand the need for emotional security, so be assured that I am concerned and moving with the gentle hand of a shepherd, resolving the conflicts, stilling the nightmares and threats of the enemy that have touched every aspect of your being, your heart, mind, and trust. You are safe, says God in my hands. You are safe and secure. When you feel panic and anxiety taking over, say this to yourself, I am safe. I am secure in my Father's capable hands. The enemy, the circumstance, and the situation may churn and boil around you to the point all seems lost. But beloved, be assured that nothing and no one can pluck you out of my loving care. Your life is hidden in me, protected and shielded from the challenges and uncertainties of the world. So much so, that the enemy is blinded like those who grope to find the door when the angels visited Lot in Sodom. They are seeking to gain access, but I've blinded their ambitions and turned them instead against each other so that you won't have to fight them, but witness their removal from your life by their misguided efforts. The Father says, time for you to soar, time for you to fly, like a bird in flight, encapsulated in a bubble of my presence, love, peace, and faithfulness. You are ascending in worship that you might descend in warfare, witnessing the enemy's total defeat in every area of your life. People, forgive them, forgive, release, Bless, move on. Even though people may disappoint you at times, you can rest assured that you will not be shaken because your trust is firmly placed in that Christ anointing, my indwelling presence on the inside of you. Be confident and be assured, says the Father. You will rest deeply and live confidently, knowing that my embrace and protection encompass every part of your life. This is your season to experience the freedom that comes from finding your identity in me. As you continue your journey, remember the truth of my promises. Doubt your doubts and embrace my sure word that has gone out over you but the prophets. Embrace healing, restoration and security, knowing you are anchored in my unwavering love. Your past does not define you. It becomes a testimony of the redemptive initiative of grace and power that is flowing down to you from my throne and filling you with those things necessary to reshape your entire existence. Walk confidently and joyfully this day and every day going forward, knowing that your life is hidden in me and that I will never fail you. The Father says today, let your mouth pray. Put more energy into prayer than you do all the vain, unenlightened tactics of the flesh that only make matters worse in your life. I say again, let your mouth pray. E embrace the power of prayer. Every word you utter in prayer is valuable and holds significance in the eyes of the divine. Allow your mouth to be a vessel of prayer, for it is through prayer that you align your desires with my will and desires. When you pray, your words ascend as fragrant incense before the throne of the Almighty, establishing an atmosphere of connection. Never underestimate the profound effect your prayers can have. The enemy may attempt to downplay prayer as an act of desperation, but I assure you, it is a transformative catalyst in your life. Through prayer, you can transcend the ordinary and step into the realm of the miraculous. Let your mouth utter prayers with passion and conviction, and watch as mountains crumble and barriers tremble before you. No challenge or obstacle in your life is too insurmountable for the fervent prayers offered at the altar of your faith. Prayer has the power to turn my promises into tangible results and over the top outcomes in your life. The angels assigned to you from the moment of your birth eagerly listen for your prayers, ready to bring them before my throne with anticipation. Don't let a lack of prayerfulness leave your assigned angels standing empty-handed before God. 
know that I am always ready and willing to hear your prayers. I am inclined and disposed to answer you. My default response to your pleas is a resounding yes, always yes, and amen. There is no obstacle too great that leaves me unwilling to overcome it in order to meet your needs. The cross of Calvary stands as a testament to the lengths I am willing to go to help you in your moments of greatest desperation. Let your words of connection and surrender to my spirit bring about the transformation, miracles, and breakthroughs you seek. Your breath in prayer is never wasted. It is a divine invitation for me to show up and work wonders in your life. Trust in my faithfulness and unwavering love as you engage fervently in sacred act of prayer.